kind of head this off with, with the, the understanding that the Bible teaches that, you know, we're, to, we're soldiers for Christ, that we are in a spiritual battle. We're in a spiritual war. We can't ever forget that or mistake that. There's, you know, the lukewarm Christians out there want to just be, oh, no, no, love, 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 and everything's just great and happy and roses. And if you don't have everybody loving you all the time, you're doing something wrong, you're not very Christ-like, and they'll just throw this at you and try to make you think that this is the attitude that we're supposed to have. And you're supposed to just be gentle and real softy and never say anything that might upset anybody or offend anybody and basically just tolerate and allow for all manner of filth and wickedness and everything else. And okay, you could intellectually disagree with somebody, but that's where it should end. And, you know, and, and that's garbage. Sorry, I, it's garbage. Right. And that is not what the Bible teaches. That's not what Jesus Christ did. That's not what the apostles did. That's not the way they lived their life. Why in the world do you think they were being arrested? Right. They're being persecuted. They're being beaten. Right. Oh, they were just being real softies, right? That just got along with everybody and they didn't want to ruffle any feathers, huh? Then why did the Bible say, hey, these that have turned the world upside down have come hither also. They hear the everything that's going on in other places. Man, these guys are here now and they're stirring up trouble and they're causing problems. How are they stirring up problems? What are they doing? Through their preaching, through what they're saying. They're not going out and literally like, getting in fist fights or anything. And of course, that's not what we should be doing either. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's what our fight is against. And many times in Scripture, you're going to see we are soldiers. We're supposed to endure as a soldier for Christ. And, uh, you know, obviously there's many areas where the Bible kind of gives us different um, analogies and, and, and different symbolic references of, of how you can view your Christian life. And one of them is as a soldier. Now, you have to deal with fear when you're dealing with fights, when you're dealing with battles because a fight is uncomfortable for the vast majority of people i'm one of them okay i am not the type of person that just loves conflict and fight i've known a few people like that that's not how how i operate and i think most people don't i mean you'd rather just get along and i would you know i, I i'd love for there to be peace I want peace, but the only way we're going to have peace is if everything's going according to God's will, is if God's rules, God's laws, God's judgment, if that's being done, then amen, there's going to be great peace. Unfortunately, there are adversaries out there that want to stop the work of God, stop the word of God from being preached, and you know what that means? There's going to be a fight because I'm not willing to let the opposition push me back. I'm going to stand up and face the opposition because that's what's right, because that's what we're called to do.